Hi. I'm not happy, Bob. And I'm not happy. And we're two, two kids, kids on, on a couch. couch. <laughs> <laughs> you might get to put the whole laugh feeling in the video. <laughs> it's a magic put the laugh in the video. Hey there! Welcome back to Two Kids on a Couch. We're in the middle of our coverage of the 2016 Tony Awards. In our last episode, we talked about the nominations that we're really excited for for this Tony Awards. And in this episode, we're going to talk about the shows that we wish would have been nominated for some more things. That's more right. shows at all, you know? Welcome to the snub episode. Da da da! Da 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 da! We want to dance tomorrow. We're, we're, we're just gonna keep keep going. <laughs> Unfortunately, because of the you know Hamilton craze, a lot of really good shows were snubbed this year. That's right. We weren't live streaming our reactions, the nominations, but they weren't happy. There was there there was some there's some fury. Ah, uh, elephant in the room for me at least. Tuck everlasting. Tuck everlasting. That show. We had such high hopes. Such high hopes. And like we knew Hamilton was coming out. Yeah. And it was going to overshadow a lot of stuff. Yes. But we didn't think it would be overshadowed so completely as to only get it one nomination. A costume. A costume. I mean, this show had a beautiful oh, set, beautiful score. Amazing cast. Like, I, I don't know how the score didn't get it. Choreography was great. Like, oh. Even with direction, like Casey Nicola. He's, he's an amazing great, director. Like, I really I really do think that in, in, a, in a different season, this show could have done very it well. It could have. And that's... Oh. And like, oh. like we knew Hamilton was gonna get all the nominations. Like, we know Hamilton's gonna win everything, but it doesn't mean other things can't and shouldn't be nominated. Right. Yeah. So I think I think uh, Tuck Everlasting for Best Show is possibly the biggest snub of the year. Yes. Follow, by Best Musical. I would say followed closely by Andrew Keenan Boulder for Best Featured Actor. He did it. He that's really that's the does. best I've ever seen him act. Agreed. I, I also maintain I would have liked to see a Best Score nomination. Very much so. I think the score was the strong point of the show. I would say, if we're separating score from lyrics, it has a better score than Hamilton. Agreed. The one I'm upset about is Spring Awakening got some snubs as well. Now, they were recognized more than Tuck did, and I'll, I'll agree that they were recognized in the most important categories. It needs to be recognized for Best Revival and Best Direction. Those were, like, had to be there. I'm excited they got Best Lighting Design as well. I think that was definitely deserved. I would have liked to see Daniel Durant get Best Supporting Actor, but I see it as a competitive category. I also thought Austin McKenzie was brilliant and would have been cool if he got a Leading Actor nomination, but again, it's a big category. I just know that it's the most inventive show to come on Broadway in a long time. I'd say more inventive and revolutionary than Hamilton. Agreed. It was one of the most beautiful revivals I've ever seen. And I'm so glad it got nominated, it got recognized even though it had been closed for a while. And I really, really hope it gets remembered come the Aquil Awards. Another one, I know, I think Dames at Sea should have been nominated for Best Revival. I get that no one liked it, and I see their point, but I feel like to take on a show that has the content of like a giant flashy Anything Goes musical with like six people, mm. it's pretty cool. Yeah. And they were like a teeny tiny theater. And it, it, they had, I don't know, maybe it's just because I like tap dancing and I think it's a cute show, but I wouldn't have hated to see it now. Agreed. Agreed. The leading actor categories was tough. I, I look at the musicals, um, Benjamin Walker didn't get one for American Psycho. But she, but she should have. And like, that's, they've that's only released a, a few one. videos, but he is stunning. He really gets into Patrick Bateman and it's, it's good and stuff. Like, and like, that's... I don't say dangerous, but like that's a that's like a that's a heavy role. It's a, it's a heavy role. That it would have been cool to see some more of that. Yeah, I I also I feel like Shuffle Along. I don't like love the show, but it's got an amazing cast. I'm surprised the cast was some more recognized either. Yeah, because like Joshua Henry, Audrey McDonald, Brian Stokes Mitchell, Billy Porter, and like I'm not like crushed that like Audrey McDonald is nominated for like another Tony Award. She got plenty. But still, it's it's surprising. The list of Tony winners in this cast is huge. I am surprised that so few of them got nominated at all. Yeah, but to be, I guess we know less about Shuffle Along. Right, it might it might have been more into it. Yeah. Also, School of Rock, like, we're glad Alex Brightman got something. Yes. But they have a cast. Those kids, like, though. Like, like a child orchestra, like, like on stage orchestra, like, that's been a thing before. But these are all, like, kids. Yeah. And they're, like, killing it. Yeah. And I don't know if that's, I don't know what kind of award that is. I don't know if it's supporting actor or, like, or, or orchestrations. I don't know. But uh, that, they should have been, there should have yeah. been something for them. So, 
We mentioned in the last episode that Noises Off actually got more nominations than we thought it would. Which is great. We're psyched. We love it. Um, but I think it deserved a lot. <laughs> I, I, I would like all of them. I would have loved to see more supporting actors and actresses being on. Like, they did get two supporting actresses and a supporting actor, which is yeah. awesome. I I haven't seen the show. I was kind of hoping Rob McClure would get nominated for his role as supporting actor. We just really like Rob McClure. He's just really funny. No, I, I would have liked to see... Um, I would like to see Rob McClure nominated for his work in Noises Off. Also, Sylvia was a show this year with, yeah. with Matthew Broderick and Annalie Ashford, who both Big did names. really well. Yeah. Particularly Miss Ashford. Yeah. Um, I, I could have easily seen her as supporting actress in a play. For sure. And that show got nothing. It got nothing at all. <laughs> I'm surprised that it wasn't even mentioned. I'm surprised it didn't get it. No, it was just glossed right over. Yeah. Also, Allegiance. Granted, it didn't do super well. Yeah, but it, uh, but it was a thing. Yeah, and no one's talking about it. That was that was like the I don't want to say the one show, but like probably probably the biggest show that got no nominations. It, there was that was a, a a lot of hype when that first came out. There was and like stellar cast. We knew about it for a long time, yeah. like like since right after Thirteen came out. <laughs> Yeah, like Leah Salonga, Telly Leon, George, George Decay. Decay. So, yeah, so like, I don't even know what Allegiance would have been nominated for. Maybe just best music. I, mean, I don't even know. Maybe, I don't know, score, Maybe actor, book. design. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I was surprised that it didn't get mentioned at all. At all. Yeah. So that's not an exhaustive list, but but a lot of the ones that we're upset about. Yeah. Um, the, the Tony Committee this year, they did an okay job. They hit a lot of good points, but... Uh, but they, they, they missed some some good stuff. Yeah, there, there was some good work done on Broadway this year that wasn't really recognized by the Tony community. And it's so funny because a lot of the shows that were some are getting a lot of like Critics' Choice Awards and Drama Desks and stuff, and like mm -hmm. people like them a lot, and yeah. like and like people on Good Authority like these shows. Yeah, yeah. If you read the reviews, Stuck Everlasting got great reviews. Yeah. As did Spring Awakening, like you know. As. Oh no, Allegiance actually didn't get confused. No. So, we can, we can definitely hope, and I think it's very likely that these shows will have a long life. Hopefully, Hopefully yes. on Broadway, if not in touring or regional productions. But, but it is sad that they can't get, like, the Tony. You know? Yeah. So by now you've heard our thoughts on the extremes of the nominations. Mm -hmm. So next time we're going to talk about uh, some of the ones that not a lot of people know about. Yeah. <laughs> so this is just so that when, when you see them come up on the Tony Awards, you have some kind of context. Yeah, you're like, hey, I know what that is. Yeah. So um, that one might be a little bit less hitting our hot spots and more informative. Yeah. Um, but it, it's good stuff to know. Uh, we would definitely it encourage is. you to research all the shows yeah. and have a working knowledge. Or and just watch our vlog and we'll do it for you. Thanks for watching. As always, feel free to comment below. We might have missed some snubs. Mm -hmm. if, if you think so, let us know below. Please. Yeah, uh, and as always, be sure to like, subscribe, check us out on Facebook, on Twitter, and don't forget about our sweepstakes. That's right. Hashtag Operation Desperation. Just, just, you, you have an open invitation. Call us. You, we'll you could you. be right here. This is it. We'll, we'll have a big we'll, we'll, we'll put a chair there for you. Just for you. Just for you. Our viewer. Alright, see you next time. Bye guys. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Sorry, cut off the sign. Hi. 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 I'm not happy, Bob. And I'm not happy. <laughs> and I'm not happy. Dang it. And I'm not happy. Gosh darn it. <laughs> <laughs> Two, Two kids, kids on, on a couch. couch. <laughs> <laughs> Two kids, kids on, on a couch. couch. Just film. And just like cut it together. <laughs> <laughs>